Okay. <laughs> Let's start back from the beginning. Oh, man. Shame on you, Lonzo Williams. So, DNS poisoning, y'all. That's the first thing we're going to take a look at, okay? <laughs> so, class, y'all remember DNS poisoning, also known as DNS redirection or DNS farming. This is when an attacker is redirecting you to a malicious website, to their website. So when you type in facebook.com, like, like I did here a few minutes ago with myself, you're expecting to go to facebook.com. But if an attacker poisons your DNS entries, you won't end up at facebook.com you're going to end up on another website more than likely a, a malicious website aka a bad website so security analysts like me or like zo or, or or you all you have to try to stop these things before they happen How do we stop them before they happen? Well, one way, because there are a bunch of ways, one way we can do that is by checking to see if our DNS entries are contaminated, if they've been poisoned. So what does that mean? How do we check the DNS entries? So, like I was trying to do a few minutes ago, you all know about DNS resolution and when your website or when you type in facebook.com your web browser takes you to Facebook however your web browser is grabbing an IP address it needs Facebook's address if I'm gonna go to drive you to Facebook I need its address and it grabs the address from a DNS server now, sometimes you can configure your computer to ask itself before it acts a DNS server. I'm going to say that again. You can configure your computer to ask this host file for Facebook's address instead of asking a DNS server. So this is a host file. The host file contains DNS entries. This is a DNS name. This is an IP address. These together are DNS entries. So your host file contains DNS entries that resolve to where you want it to go. So if we want to go to facebook.com, we're telling our web browser to take us to this IP address, which happens to be the IP address of another one of our machines, this Kali Linux machine. So when we type in facebook.com, it's not going to take us to Facebook on this computer that we're looking at. This computer that we're on right now, this virtual machine, this Windows virtual machine, when we type in Facebook, it's going to take us somewhere else. So now, now because we don't have our web server standing right now or provision you all know what provisioning means you're creating something we don't have our web server provision right now so when we type in facebook.com we're just going to see an error message but just imagine if we had that website provision we could have a website that had a cross-site script uh, or javascript embedded in it and if it was on the website, that's known as a stored or a persistent cross-site scripting attack. Now, that's a pretty advanced DNS redirection or DNS farming attack. 
because you've created an, an, a malicious website that has a script embedded in it. And soon as Marquita goes to the website or Atiba goes to the website or Sam goes to the website, he activates that script. And now his cookies are sent to me, the attacker. All right, so I'm going to hit enter. And it should just give us an error message because I don't have on this web server, on this Kali Linux machine right here, I don't have my web server stood up. So it's going to give us an error message. And you all know what a web server is. This is when we have a web application installed on a server. If you don't know what a web server is, please check out our web server versus database server video. Definitely check that out. If you're um, if you're signed up for the next class, so Sam, check that out. It's going to help a lot when we're talking about different concepts in class and you're going to see this DNS poisoning again. OK, and we're going to break it down a lot more than this, like the bare bones. But this was really for our classes right now who, who, who didn't get a chance to see it. We wanted them to see what DNS poisoning looked like. And this is what it looks like. This is you're getting. So if you're at work and interview points, interview points for for my class right now. Atiba, if an interviewer asks you, what logs would you check to see if you've been affected by a DNS poisoning attack? You're going to check your host file. And you're going to look at the entries. And if the entries don't line up, if you got Facebook pointing to some IP address you don't know about, or it looks suspicious, then you have a problem. 